Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the video. So today I have another Dual Universe Lua scripting tutorial for you guys. And so in this video I'm going to be going over and showing you guys how you can set up a industry machine monitor. Now, uh, what I mean about that, uh, you'll basically be able to display uh, your the specific industry's um, uh, efficiency and the current status of that uh, industry. Either if it's running, stopped or whatever. Uh, it will display that um, and now I like before if you guys haven't watched uh, one of my previous videos where I showed you guys how to set up the OR monitor and uh, this is going to be very similar uh, to that one uh, but I also went ahead and coded everything pre um, beforehand so I don't make the video too long um, but I will go over how you set it up and all of those good things uh, but down in the video description I'll have a github link to the code that you guys can go and uh, copy and then just paste it in game uh, in your programming board uh, but um, yeah with that said uh, let's get to it so but before I get started I just wanted to um, say if you guys notice or <laughs> uh, well, most of you uh, maybe would notice is my the quality of my voice is a lot better and that is because I recently or oh, the same day um, that I record this video I uh, actually got uh, my new microphone and so um, I finally uh, a little bit ago decided uh, to get a dedicated um, microphone because I wanted to up uh, the quality of my voice uh, when I make uh, these tutorials and also for the future of my channel uh, because this um, makes my videos feel a bit more professionally made uh, but um, yeah as always uh, let's get to it so if I quickly turn this on I can show you guys before I go into the actual code um, but as you guys can see it's the style is precisely the same uh, as you guys can see the padding is just a little bit bigger because we don't have we only have like three in here but if I add uh, one more machine uh, I can maybe do that um, but uh, as you can see it shows the percentage here currently all of them are stopped but let's quickly uh, I have my electronics industry and then my chemical industry and my smelter connected up to it uh, if you guys uh, saw the names here and so let me quickly turn on uh, or tell my uh, electronics industry to quickly craft a uncommon, uncommon electronics. And so if I if you guys look on the screen now, it says running. And I didn't manage to uh, round the percentage, but you guys can obviously see it's it's like at a hundred percent. And then I can also start uh, my smelter. So if I start this one, you guys will see on this one it also shows it's at 100% efficiency and it's currently running. So, uh, with that said, let me quickly uh, stop these machines just so that it's not too loud. Okay, so after you, you've done that, uh, once you have also have a, a screen and a programming board, what you want to do is, depending on what uh, everything you want to um, connect uh, or display on your screen, um, you, all you need to do is you just connect up all of the different industries to the programming board and then from there you connect the screen up. Uh, and then let's quickly open the code so you can press ctrl L and it will it's like a shortcut key to open the uh, Lua editor and so in here as you can see I have my screen over here and then I have my electronics industry and my chemical industry and my smelter so you guys can uh, name this exactly the same if you want to uh, but obviously if you have more uh, you can name it whatever and then after that, you want to come into the unit um, uh, tab. And then in here, as you can see, I have a start and a stop. And now in my start, all I do is I just have a few functions here um, where uh, that I have uh, that are just made. So that I don't have to type out unit or stop timer every time or start or set timer. 
but anyways, here I I am just starting uh, the screen uh, tick, and then uh, also here uh, whenever I turn on the programming board, it also turns on uh, the screen, and on stop I just deactivate the screen, um, and that's all. And so in here in my tick in the screen tick. Um, as you can see, um, I basically have the same, if you guys haven't watched um, my previous video where I went uh, over the ore monitor, you guys will um, remember this. Uh, so I basically copied uh, some of it over. So the style and everything is precisely the same. All I did was all of the ore stuff I replaced with this. Uh, so um, as you can see, it was ac it's actually pretty easy. Um, so all I did was I made three variables, well, two variables for each uh, different industry. Uh, and so I have um, EI stands for electronic industry and then CI chemical industry and so on and so on. And then I just add, uh, underscore status and efficiency. And then um, so I basically, so obviously you guys can see this is variables and then I just, I just equaled it um to electronics dot get status and then same for the efficiency electronics underscore industry dot get efficiency and so if you go if you if um so that's um the same for all of them as you can see and so if you come down to the html all of this is also still the same all i did was i just renamed uh the titles of the uh the table uh, to like according to uh, this monitor so obviously the first one is the machines names and then the efficiency and then the status now you can easily add uh, another column if you want to to display like the uptime uh, but I don't, I don't feel like that was really necessary to add but you guys can always uh, bold off of my code and then down here as you can see um, I just um, added the variable so it displays here and then yeah so it's not really that much uh, that you have to do uh, but like I said before all of the code will be on the github page um, that I'll have down in the video description and um, yeah I think that's about it um, for the industry machine monitor uh, hopefully you guys um, enjoy enjoyed this video if you did Make sure you guys give it a thumbs up if you didn't, a thumbs down. And also remember to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. And I'll see you guys in the next one.